What's going on, guys? This is World of Gaming TV One, and guess what just came out today? Yes, Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.5.0, and we're going to be showing you all the new stuff that's in it. So there's there's a whole bunch of bug fixes. I believe it's um over 25, and there's there's a lot of tweaks like restoring hearts when you're sleeping and food restores more health and stuff and they also tweak the fog as you can see and it's getting dark so here's our nether reactor uh, we're going to be showing you this at the end of the video so stay tuned for that and here are our melon melon seeds where they're going to go we're also going to show you at the end of the video because we need seeds that go with the nether so they added zombie pigmen, the nether reactor, the glowstone, the melons, mushroom farming, and paintings. And we are also going to show you some paintings. So let me just walk over here to grab a sword. And they actually fixed it so you can get out of the bed faster. So if you're on the touch screen controls, as I am right now, you can actually get out of the bed way easy. By just a touch of a button just like that so let's just go ahead and sleep for the night for daytime and let's go ahead and grab our bed and we are going to be showing you guys some mushroom farming so as you can see the numbers in the chest of how many of the items you have are a little bit smaller and when you switch items there's actually a name tag that goes with it which is pretty cool so like if you don't know what this item is you can just switch it and it'll tell you right there so right here we cannot actually place any mushrooms or anything like that as you guys can see which is pretty cheap it's, it's cool though I know it has to be I know it has to be like in a dark room but just so you guys know you cannot plant these on top so let me just kill this creeper and we can go ahead and continue All right now here we go all right i'm gonna try to do some of the bone meal on the mushrooms so let's just go ahead and down here and there's a spider right there oh my goodness jesus what is down here all right this is unexpected all right, no worries. We can, we can get this. We can get this. All right, we did it. All right. So the first thing I noticed is the health has been moved to the top left corner of your screen, which is cool since you don't, you won't have to be blocked right here. So let's go ahead and plant some mushrooms. Let's get the red mushroom and let's get the this mushroom down here. And now I believe you cannot bone meal it since it has to spread. So you cannot bone meal mushroom. So we will come back here later and see how this is going. I meant to put some torches down there. So we'll just go and put a torch right there. All right, we will come back later for those two mushrooms and see how good they are growing. Let me just break that real quick. All right, let's go down here and place it right here. And let's place this one over here. Alright, now let's get out of here. Alright, so we're going back up. And that is mushroom farming. Right there. Awesome mushroom farming. Now we are going to be showing you the the tweaks or bug fixes they did when eating food. So let's go ahead and take out some food to show you guys. Let's put that in our inventory. And let's take some damage. Oh, we're about to die. Alright. Wait, let's get half a dark heart. Alright. We have three left. Now, let's go ahead and test out the bread. Alright, that gives two and a half hearts. That's good. Didn't take damage there. Alright, bread gives two and a half hearts. Let's test out the chicken. Cooked chicken. Alright, cooked chicken gives out three hearts, which is way more. 
Mm, let's go ahead and take some more damage. There we go. Wait, one more half. All right, now let's try an apple. All right, apple gives two two hearts. That's nice. And let's try the mushroom stew. Mushroom stew. All right, now mushroom stew gives the most health. It gives four hearts, which is it's, it's the best out of all of them, out of all the food. So let's go ahead and pop these back in. And I'm going to keep the mushroom stew for later for eating if you guys know I'm gonna be testing the another reactor so let's go ahead and test the paintings now which is our next on the list they added paintings which is cool um, this is what you guys will need to craft paintings they will be in the crafting table I believe let's see if they're in here nope they will be in the crafting table up in this bottom section of the crafting table and here are the painting. Let's go ahead and craft eight. And let's place them right here. So let's place one there. We've got a huge one. A little one. A little one. A little one. A huge one. Well, they have all the paintings. I believe they have all the paintings from the computer. They just ported them. Well, if there are the paintings, you can, you can break them and pick them up. And place them again which is cool there's a creeper one all right so here are the paintings they do I believe they do have all the sizes if not then I am not sure but there are the paintings all right now let's go to the glowstone which I have some glowstone right here and a crafting table where is glowstone all right it's gonna be in this top one I believe or right, here it is glowstone that is some nice description right there. Tile, light jam, couldn't find description. That's the best description I've ever seen. Alright, so you, these are nice for decorations. Make some light. That's nice, alright, that's nice. And we're going to be testing them down in that spot over there where we did some mushroom farming. So let's just go ahead and go over there. And I believe they do have some glowing obsidian or something like that I don't know it has something to do with the glowing but let's get those remove torches and let's place these oh great won't get, have to get up all right good break these seems like our mushrooms haven't spread I am not sure if it has to be darker or if I am even doing this right I have no idea but anyways the point is they added mushroom farming um, I'll try to get how it worked or if I have to wait a little longer but anyways our next thing we are going to test is the nether reactor this is what you guys have been waiting for right here this is it got some gold blocks some diamond some iron ingots and some cobblestone this is what everyone has been waiting for let's go ahead and craft the nether reactor it's going to be in the first section and there it is let's get two of them two nether reactors let's do this place it here get our cobblestone here and here now I learned that you don't have to hit it with the sword but just to prepare myself for the massive for the massive zombie pigmen I'm going to hit it with the sword let's do this back off so you, can, so you guys can see what happens now I wouldn't suggest doing this near a house or anything or inside a house actually even underground or anything cause look what happens What just happened? Where is this light coming from? Right there, that's... Alright, here we got some items dropping. Got the zombie pigment right here. Ooh, they're dropping gold, that's nice. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Guys, I'm going to die. 
yes, pick up other items. Got some cactus, some mushrooms, some glowstone. Is that a bowl? Did I pick up a bowl? Wow, they will drop a bowl. Got some seeds for the um, melon, melon farm. And there it is, it's done. We are now done with this. And this is, this is just what happens. This huge thing happens. So let me go ahead and try to sleep if I can. That pig is following me. I mean, that spider is following me. Let's go to the house. Some backup. We need some backup. Oh no, what am I doing? Let's get out of here. Quick, quick, quick. Got one heart and half a heart left. And I heard your health restarts when you are sleeping. Your health resets. God, if I could only sleep. Alright, we're gonna have to do this. Right here. So I have one heart and a half left. So let's go ahead and sleep and see if it resets. Alright, there you go. My health reset and that is the nether. The aftermath of the nether reactor. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't suggest doing this on somewhere where it's full and stuff so you guys might want to be careful with that yeah so yeah um, let's go ahead and build another one right here just so you guys know what happens the creeper after me oh my god oh alright that's good jeez what's going on oh my god alright nope um sword here all right he's dead and I built that wrong I know that here's good uh, cobblestone 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 and cobblestone another reactor cobblestone 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 there it's pretty cool how it gives you a message that you didn't build it right so you know how it's gonna going to be built so anyways um, got some stuff on the way, and let's go ahead and hit it. Alright, there it is. We're in the, the zone. Get in the zone, guys. Auto zone. Alright, we're in the zone. Um, I believe you can, you can destroy this to get out, okay, but I'm not going to. I'll get some kind of sword later. Oh my goodness. Alright, got some, got some nice. They do drop gold, which is cool. So you can rebuild another nether reactor. So if you guys ever need some more gold, there it is. So where's where's our food? All right, here it is. Go ahead and need some. Whoa, they dropped the ball. That's nice. Some beds. They do drop some items. They they dropped a lot of items. So um, you can only use another once, which which is cheap. It's cool, but it's you know cheap that you can only use it once. Okay, monsters around me. Alright, next we will be showing you the, finally, we will be showing you the melon farming, which is our last thing we will be showing you. So, do you need to have two spots, I believe. So, let's go and plant these. Two spots, just like that. And, let me just bone meal that. I have some bone meal. Alright, let me just bone meal this. I believe you can you can bone meal it. Here it is. Alright, we'll bone meal in it. I think this is like bugged. Yeah, it's kinda bugged. Alright, there you go. Alright, so it's it's doing its stuff. Let's go ahead and sleep if we can. Alright, there we go. Two hearts. Two hearts down. See if it resets. Alright. So once you bone meal it, I think you have to wait a while to wait a while for it to continue its to uh, get the melon out of it wow you can actually see the, the the aftermath of the nether so yeah don't do this if you're like around something around the house or anything like that but anyways if I forgot anything if new in the update I will put it in the description and let me guys know what you guys think about this update in the comment section there's already melon right here. And this is what happens when you 
when you break it. Uh, let's go ahead and bake that, and you, it drops about melons, watermelons, one, two, three, four, it drops four. And let's see how much it heals. I believe this is a bug. It has a red background. I don't think it's not supposed to. Yeah, I think this is a bug. Red background. Not supposed to happen. Alright, there we go. It's fine popping out. Alright, so let's just go ahead and test out the damage on this. Let's get the zombie to attack us. Alright, two. Wait, we need this. Couple more. Alright, this is good. Alright, alright, here. Let's go ahead and kill it. And let's see how much it heals. One heart. One heart, not bad, not bad. But anyways. Whoa. Is this supposed to be happening? It can keep... It can keep going? Growing and stuff? Is this supposed to happen? I thought it was supposed to disappear and then you have to plant more. Hmm, not sure. Let me, guys, let me know in the comments if this is a bug or something. I haven't really played Minecraft on PC, so... I'm not sure if this is supposed to happen. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching guys. Like the video if you liked it. There it is. Alright, got some seeds, alright. Subscribe if you want to see more. And peace. I forgot to mention this guys, but here is creative mode. They added grass. So you can finally place grass instead of having to place dirt and wait for it to for the grass to spread. And they see they add they also added the glowstone and the nether reactor to creative as well as paintings and the watermelon the melon and some seeds Let's see what else did they add and I think that's how they added it and I believe they added these I'm not sure but anyways for those of you wondering if you could build the nether reactor in creative mode um you cannot you cannot build it you can you could build it but you you cannot use it so Right now I, I am in creative mode and let's go ahead and try to activate the nether reactor in creative mode. So let's do that right now. Right there and let's see, alright. Nope, you cannot. You cannot use the nether reactor in creative mode. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.